Hey Health Nuts, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole and today I'm actually in my nursery, which you are gonna see a full nursery tour coming soon. I have not forgotten about it. Um, we're just waiting on a few important pieces and it's really coming together. Like this room is small, but so adorable and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Um, but today's video, we are doing a hospital or like a what's in my hospital bag slash baby's bag that we're bringing to the hospital with us. I cannot believe I'm officially filming this video. This is so weird. I've watched so many of these on YouTube throughout my pregnancy and I honestly don't remember what's in any of them. So I don't know. I asked you guys on Instagram stories for your recommendations on what I need to put in the hospital bag. And I'll actually put the list here of like your top recommendations because I know everyone says you overpack and I'm probably over packing but you know what I'm a first-time mom it's a pandemic I want to be prepared and really we're not able to like leave the hospital and stuff so once we get there we need to have what we need so um, I got a few essentials kind of a lot of essentials that I'm gonna go through and before we hop in make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel I post here every single week so you don't want to miss out on a future video ring that bell notification so it actually pops up every time i post a new video and without further ado let's hop right into the video so we actually just finished packing everything up before this video so we still have to go through and wash everything um, but pretty much i have my hospital bag packed as well as baby acorns now i just want to give a shout out to these beautiful bags that actually were gifted to me from fawn design they're like beautiful um like just i would just have this even if i didn't have a baby <laughs> they're so cute they actually just look like like nice luggage and purses that you would just want to bring and like match with your outfits but they are essential or so they're actually made functionally to carry baby stuff in which i love so um this one here is like a backpack baby bag it is so beautiful and just like the quality and the details on here are gorgeous and everybody who showed this too is like that is the prettiest diaper bag and I'm very fortunate that this was gifted um, and it's going to get a lot of love. So I'm going to go through that one after. But here I have, I think this is called like the overnight or weekender bag um, that they have. And I really just wanted to make sure I had my own bag as well as baby's bag. So I'm going to go through everything that's in here. There's a lot, but the rule that I had was if it fits in here, I can take it. I'm not going to be bringing like five different bags for me. I'm usually like if we're going on a trip, I don't remember what it what it's like to travel, but if we were going on a trip, I'm like a carry on person. I don't like to overpack. So this may seem like overpacking to some of you that want to bring like the bare necessities. But like I said, we it's kind of a weird time right now. I just want to make sure I'm comfortable. I have everything I need. And uh, Matt doesn't have to leave the hospital for any reason because I don't even think he's able to. Before I start pulling things out, I just want to let you guys know I'm going to have a full blog post with a free downloadable checklist. If you are a new mama like me and you're just like navigating this whole new world, um, I just want to make it easier. So check out the uh, link in the description bar for the blog post. And like I said, free checklist printables will be available. I think I didn't forget anything, but if I did, I'm gonna adjust it in the checklist. So this one here is like my toiletries bag. Um, I'll just pull out a few things here because I like to see like details. Obviously I got my Beauty Net Skincare Pit Refresh. You need deodorant, I'm sure I'm gonna get sweaty. I got my, also my lip butter from my skincare line, some hair ties. And then I just have some toothpaste. I usually have an electric toothbrush. I'm just bringing a bamboo one nice and simple it fits in here and then I have color-coded these little squeezy tubes are awesome um, shampoo conditioner and body wash so I have those I wear contacts so we got some of those so I can see uh, some floss and then I have a comb actually I ended up putting another brush in here this came in a baby set that baby acorn got um, so I just like this. If I have to wash my hair for any reason, this is what I use to detangle it. This can just be like to pull up my hair. So I have that. Then I just have this little pack with sample or not sample travel sizes from my favorite skincare line luminance. I have their cleanser, uh, rose water toner, and just a facial moisturizer. And then I have some Q-tips and cotton rounds here. So that is everything that's in my toiletries. So I feel like that's pretty simple. And Matt and I will just share the same ones. Obviously, he'll bring his own toothbrush. 
um, but just keeping it really simple and it all fits in this pouch. Then in this smaller pouch, I know this is like controversial. <laughs> some people, I don't know if it's controversial, but some people are like, you don't need that. But I just have like some basic makeup essentials because you know what? If I want to take photos, not that we were allowed a photographer, it's going to be Mr. Matt or the nurse or our midwives. Um, but I just want to like look kind of cute and by makeup, I'm bringing like essentials, like just like all natural makeup. I have some blush, which will work as like a lip color to CC cream, um, concealer in case I've been up all night. Um, I will post everything that I have in here on the blog, but you know, keeping it really simple, a little mascara, a little, little CC cream, never hurt anyone. Just, you know, especially the, when I'm coming home. I don't know if I'm gonna be wanting to take photos, but if I do, I have the option. It doesn't take up much space and it fits in here, so I'm allowed to bring it, is what my rule is. Chloe's asking if I'm like one of those people that's gonna have full glam. No, th that's not what's happening. But a little brow stuff and a mascara goes a long way to making yourself feel kind of cute, especially after you just pushed a baby out of your body. Okay, next up we have essential oils. I talked about this in my pregnancy must-have video. Um, so I'll show you quickly what oils I'm bringing for my hospital bag. I feel like this is going to be a long video, so I'll try to go quickly. And I'll have more details about everything in the blog post. But Peace and Calming, it's an, a very relaxing oil blend. Um, we did a hypnobirthing course, and they said citrus oils are really good. So tangerine is my favorite. So I'm bringing that one. Lavender, it's like a great all-purpose oil. Peppermint, I use this a lot for like headaches or nausea, so I'm just bringing that. And then this I bought specifically for my hospital bag. It's a Valor blend, it's a roller bottle. And this is like Courage in, the bo in a Bottle, as they call it, and it has blue tansy in it. It's an amazing oil blend. It's really good for emotional support, but like push out this baby, you know? It's gonna, it's gonna help me. Um, but if anything, they just are relaxing and supportive and I don't leave home without it, so I'm bringing them with me to the hospital. So then for like more bathroom toiletry things, I just have hand cream. I hate having dry hands. So I'm bringing this tub because I can also use it for a body like lotion or anything if I'm just feeling dry after I take a shower. And then I have my glasses. I have like a bunch of compartments in here. It's a really awesome bag because you can like separate everything. So I'll just kind of like start pulling out. Um, so this is kind of like some postpartum care stuff. I have this Clariderm. This is like an oil blend. Uh, it's a cooling mist that has been really recommended for post birth care. And there's so many different like sprays and stuff you can get on the market for healing. Um, but this one is from Young Living where I get all my essential oils from and I've heard amazing things. Um, this has myrrh oil, tea tree, lavender, frankincense, um, helichrysum, I think is how you say it, Roman chamomile, um, so just very healing and you can like just spray this down there. I think that's how you use it. So I have that. I also got this one from well.ca. It's a herbal perennial spray and it's also very cooling. There are other sprays that you can get that are just more like, they have a bunch of chemicals and toxic ingredients that I don't really want to put be putting in my nether region. So these are just options that I can kind of go back and forth between. I think this is like a witch hazel. Yeah, this one's like a witch hazel base. So just cooling, lots of sprays. It's gonna be a spa day, okay? So I have those. I also, I don't know if I'll need it, but I also have this, uh, I think it's lanolin, lanolin cream. Um, it's for soothes and protects sore dry nipples. Now, I don't really know, people put this in their hospital bag and it was recommended from you guys on Instagram stories, but I don't know, like, are my nipples gonna be that sore? I don't think your milk comes in for a couple of days. So, but who knows? Like they're gonna be going through something for the first time. I don't know. I just figured I'm gonna put this in here because it doesn't take up much space. And then of course, I think even if we weren't going through weird times, I'd still have this, but my hand sanitizer, just a small travel pack, the Thieves one, it's the only one I use, I've used throughout my pregnancy. I feel safer using it, it's non-toxic. And it smells really good too, and it doesn't like dry out your hands. Okay, then for more postpartum care stuff, I have, this is like the Perry bottle. Everyone says you need from Frida Baby and it has like an angle, so it's just a little bit easier. Uh, this is for after when you're urinating and stuff. It, you just spray water and it helps 
it not burn so much. I don't know. I, I'm scared. Are you guys scared? I'm scared. <laughs> I'm like, why do I need this? <laughs> but I'm sure everyone says you need it. The uh, hospitals usually give you like a basic one, but it doesn't have the curve. So you know what? I'm just bringing my own. It's fine. And then we got some more. These are also from Frida Baby. These are disposable underwear, like mesh underwear. Oh, oh, like briefs. Oh, that's sexy. Yeah. Oh, they're very stretchy. So I have that. I'm just going to roll it back up. I've heard the hospital ones, like they give you some, but I've heard they're not very comfortable. And also too, um, I like that these ones aren't um, bleached and I think they're just a little bit better for you. I was looking for like natural, natural ones. It's really hard to find. I just, you guys know, I don't like use like tampons and regular pads and stuff because I just feel like there's a lot of nasty ingredients in them. So I just feel a little bit better having this on hand. I also have some breast pads. I'm just bringing a set of two. Like I said, I don't even think my milk's gonna come in. Um, I think it's just colostrum, which is like thicker, but who knows, I might still want these just to like not have that all over my, um, my bra. So I'm just bringing two of those. I have some face cloths here for when I'm taking a shower because I'm sure I'm gonna wanna take a shower. <laughs> I also have a travel towel here. It is the best travel towel I've ever had in my life. Matt and I both have one of these back when we were backpacking in Australia, so we love it. I've just heard like the hospital towels aren't the greatest, so, and also too, I just kinda wanna use my own stuff, especially right now. Um, I think it's just safer, so I have that. And then I also have, I actually bought a pack of these on Amazon. These are, <laughs> they look so big. <laughs> um, they're very high-waisted um, just underwear and they're in black. And I got a set, I think, of five. So I'm just bringing two of them to the hospital. They're very sexy. Um, but you basically, I hear you just want to wear black because a lot of things are exiting from your body and you don't want to ruin everything. So I figured like this also came in like a cute color set, but I just went for black because I'm like, shit's getting real. I also have a long charging cable for my phone. Matt got a pack of these from Amazon. He has one in his bag as well. And then for clothes, oh, I also have my AirPods. I'm gonna bring that. Um, I hear this is really good, even just for like, if I'm having calls after, you know, talking to family and friends, since no one can come to the hospital, I can just have one of these in my ear while I'm holding baby, skin to skin. I can't believe like that's around the corner, so crazy. Then for clothes, I'm keeping it really simple. I have two just like comfy bras. I technically don't have nursing bras yet. I am planning on ordering some. Um, these are just from Aerie. They're really comfortable and I think they'll be fine to like pull down if needed. Um, so I have those and then I also am bringing just a pair of pajamas. So this is just like a long gown one. I wanted to get one that had buttons so it's uh, nursing friendly. And I just thought like dark colors is best because the same thing that I mentioned before. So I have that. And then a pair of warm socks. I also have a robe. This one is so cute. Pink Blush Maternity actually sent me this and it's the sweetest robe. Like you guys keep seeing me wear this in videos. I get so many questions about it. Pink Blush Maternity, I will link it and I love it, it's so soft and um, it also has like a double like tie thing inside so you don't have to worry about the whole thing just opening up. But I have that, so it's also very nursing friendly. I thought it'd be perfect for like postpartum, being at home. And then in terms of like a going home outfit, obviously I'll be going to the hospital in an outfit, uh, but for going home, I just got a pair of these black super soft align yoga pants from Lululemon. And then I just have a basic t-shirt. My girlfriend got me this, it says bonjour motherhood. I thought it was really cute. And I'm actually gonna wear the uh, cardigan I have on right now is really long and really soft on the inside. So I'm bringing this and that is an outfit option. I also ordered from Etsy these really cute like mommy daddy sweaters, but I don't know if they're gonna be here in time. If they are, I will add them. Um, I'll add like a B-roll clip of them, but this is what I have inside. Once again, black pants, because you don't wanna ruin your good Lulus, okay? Then we have some flip flops for the shower, just for hygienic reasons. Oh, I also have, I know I have the mesh underwear, but I just want options. I also have uh, just some, these are like natural pads, so they don't have any chemicals in them. I think they're by 
uh, nature, nature care. I forget. I will link them, but they're just, um, super absorbent maternity pads. So I got those. I honestly don't remember what it's like to have a period. So I have a mask because Rona. <laughs> And then I have these C-bands because I wasn't going to bring these to the hospital, but my acupuncturist actually told me, I was telling her that I was using these for nausea a lot right now. And she said, oh, I would pack them in your hospital bag because uh, some women experience nausea when they're in labor. So I just have these, you just wear them on your wrists and they really do work. I only just started using them. Otherwise I would have mentioned them in my third trimester video and my pregnancy must haves, but these work. Grab them if you are feeling nauseous, you have seasickness, or you're in your first trimester. These are a must. Okay, then I have um, just some tea, some chamomile and lavender tea and lemon balm, um, some Kleenexes. Then, of course, if you know me, I have a little snack section. I don't know how people don't bring snacks to the hospital. I'm like, that's the first thing I think of. I'm like, can I eat? <laughs> so who knows? I might not want to eat, but if I'm hungry, I just want some stuff or some things to like um, suck on. Cause I know you can't like necessarily have a full meal, especially if you had an epidural, but you can like suck on things. Um, so I have some of those. So I have these like veggie goes, um, just like natural fruit snacks. Um, they're kind of like fruit leathers. I have a perfect bar. This is my favorite flavor, chocolate chip, peanut butter. These are like heavy duty. You have one of these and it's like, you feel like you just ate a meal. So they will keep me full if I'm really hungry. I also have two packs of Smart Sweets uh, cause you can just kind of suck on these like a lozenger or something. Delicious. Just like gummy things. Um, I also, I, I know some people pack like stool softeners. Honestly, I remember the only time I've used a stool softener is when I had my wisdom teeth out and I was on like T3s. And if you've ever been on those, like you just, your poop, you don't poop for like days. And it's really weird. So I didn't want to get that. And I just thought just in case I got some just organic, um, prune puree. Um, so I have this, but, um, yeah, I'm not too worried, but like, I just have this just in case. So. I need some assistance. I have some mojito mints here and I have my pill case. So I'm just gonna have to finish filling this up, but I'm not gonna be taking like my regular, I doubt I'm gonna wanna take like my regular prenatals at the hospital, but um, just things like if I need Tylenol or um, anything else that I might wanna grab, I'll just throw in here. Oh, and then I have a coconut water, electrolytes. I know some people do like Gatorade and stuff. I'm not about that, so. Electrolytes, I'm gonna have to put this all back in here. I just had it nicely organized. Okay, then also I have this water bottle. I've heard so many people say, make sure you get a water bottle with a sippy attachment because if you're laying down and you need like some water, you can just kind of keep laying down and just sip it without it going all over you. Also, if you're breastfeeding at home, you can sip it. I think you can put hot and cold in here. So I've been loving this guy and it's a nice big size. So I have that. Then I'm probably just going to bring these like going to the hospital. These are a pair of slippers, but they have like um, regular soles on them. So I can actually just wear these to the hospital and then like clean them after. These are my old pairs. I bought a new pair. Chloe's wearing them behind the camera right now. They're so cozy and they keep my feet warm. And when you're very pregnant, bending down to tie shoe, shoelaces or put any shoes on is not really an option. So I'm all about like the slip, the slip on shoes. And then this may seem like a weird item for some of you, but if you've been, you know, watching my channel and you saw my pregnancy must have video, you'll know how much this has helped me. This is an acupressure mat. Um, it basically has saved my life through pregnancy. I know that sounds dramatic, but I use this every single night. I'll pull it out. So basically it's a mat with some spiky guys on it and you lay on it and I can't tell you how good it feels. Um, it really helps ease anxiety, helps me sleep. It, um, you can even just put your feet on it. So I just figured like this has been with me my whole pregnancy and it's been a lifesaver. I'm going to bring it with me to the hospital. If I use it, great. If I don't, it, it comes in this travel pack and it's totally fine. So I have that. And then in terms of like electronics, Matt's going to have, he's probably going to have my laptop. He's going to have an iPad with some movies on it. It's one of those things, like I'm not even going to bring a book because like I'm, I'm going to be occupied, but I also want to have stuff in case like you are waiting around or whatever. You want to have some entertainment. So we're going to have that. And then I think he's also bringing a speaker if we want to play music. I have 
um, some playlists on Spotify that I'm going to have with me. And then of course my meditation tapes. So that will be with me. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. If I forget anything, it's going to be in the blog post with the checklist. So make sure you check out that down below. All right. So that's that bag. And then obviously Matt's going to have his bag, but like I said, we're going to share a lot of our toiletries. And then we have my baby bag. And I just wanted to share with you guys what we were bringing in here. Cause I found it really helpful when I saw like both bags in videos. So it's going to be a bit of a longer video, but I feel like you can get more information. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go through this pretty quickly. So this video isn't an hour long. Um, I have a burp cloth here. We just kind of threw that in last minute because I'm like, do newborns spit up? They probably do, right? I, I have no idea. So we have that. I have a quilt blanket. This is from the sweetest little Canadian shop called Merely Me. I will link it. You guys have to go check out her shop. It's so freaking cute and they have the best like newborn and baby essentials. So definitely check her out. Um, but we have that and then, cause it's gonna be winter time by the time, oh, there may be snow on the ground by the time she arrives. Uh, so we want something to cover the car seat and just make sure she's nice and warm and cozy. Cause you don't wanna have bulky stuff on them when they're in the car seat. Okay, we'll do clothes first and I may be overdoing it with clothes, but once again, just in case we're at the hospital longer, I don't know what size she's gonna be. So I just wanna have options big babies run in our family, but I really think she's going to be between seven and eight pounds. But like I was almost 10 pounds and my sister had big babies. So we really, it's, it's a, going to be a surprise, you know? Um, so I have a few different options. We, there's tags on cause we still have to wash everything, which we're doing, I think tomorrow. We got the cutest little green sleeper. Um, I will link all the brands that I'm bringing in the blog post, but this is, we only got a few things in newborn sizes. I feel like everyone was like, don't buy newborn get zero to three, but honestly, like this is newborn. It's not that small. If she comes out of me like bigger than this, that's scary. <laughs> she could be bigger, but like, I just wanted a couple of newborn stuff. So we got this, it's so soft. It's a zipper um, sleeper. And then also from Merely Me, we got this, I call it like a little kimono set. It has a wrap around um, like waist thing with the cutest little pants so sweet and these ones have footies on them i'm actually not bringing any socks because all of these clothes have foot like footies on them but i love this i think this color was uh rose or petal um this is three zero to three but it's it looks pretty small and i just think it's cute so i just want to have options for the hospital you know this is a swaddle from solly baby they also have the sweetest like wraps, swaddles, gowns, sleeper sets. And this one I think is in, I forget the name of this. This is part of their new fall line. I think it's Bramble. I can't remember, but so soft and it's a swaddle. So I'm going to bring that. And then I also have a matching little hat. How sweet. So you can do a little photo with the swaddle and the hat. Um, but this also goes with her other outfits. I also have this little headband from Merely Me so sweet I love I love like all the earthy vibes if you can't tell and then I just got a couple of like one to two month size stuff from H&M they have this line called the conscious line it's like all organic cotton I really love their stuff so I'm keeping it simple I have two sets so I got these little pants and then a little onesie and I figured I can just layer them on and so these are pretty small and it's okay if she's like drowning a little bit in them I just didn't want like everything zero to three and then I got the same set in this cream and pink polka dot pattern. So that's what we have for clothes. I don't think we need to bring like any bigger sweaters or anything. Cause like I said, she can't really wear heavy stuff in the car seat. So I think she'll be fine in that. And then we'll just layer like the blanket on top. And then of course we have some newborn diapers. Have those in there. Um, some wipes. I have this little travel pack, which is really cute because you can put the wipes in, but you can also open it up and just store some other things in here, which I might do. I might move some stuff around. We have two pairs of scratch mitts. Like I said, I'm not bringing socks because all of her pants have footies on them. Okay, on the side here, I don't know if I need to bring this, but it's not heavy. I have the Frida baby like nose sucker, and I thought, I'm sure the hospital has something, but just in case she's stuffy, <laughs> When she comes out, I can just suck up her boogers. This is a really weird thing, but apparently there's a filter, it does not go in your mouth, so I have that. And then I also have a little pacifier and a little pacifier clip. 
So I have that. I'm just bringing one because I don't really know if she's going to take a pacifier, but we have that in case. Um, and then I just have a couple of bath time things. Um, so I have this little brush here. My sister got me this at my baby shower and apparently it's really good for, I think it's called cradle cap. I'm not sure, but it's good for their scalp. And I think like if they have any other stuff on them, I have, I filled this up with some coconut oil. Um, this is kind of what I'm going to be using for like an all natural, um, like bum cream. And then I have to just fill this up. I'm going to put a little cast style soap in here. Um, I don't really think we'll need a lot of like bath stuff there, but I'm keeping it really simple. Um, but we have that just in case. I feel like the only other thing is a wet bag. I just have this in case like we have anything that got wet and we just need to put it in something and we don't want it to like get the whole bag wet or like gross. Um, I just have a wet bag. So these are really great because you put stuff that's wet inside and it stays inside. So that's just like a backup. And I feel like that's it. If there's anything else you think I need in the baby bag, please let me know. Leave a comment down below. Um, but that is everything in today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope if you're a new mom expecting that this is helping you prep for your baby on the way. Like I said, I watched so many of these, so it's so surreal to be filming my own finally. Um, but yeah, I hope it gave you some ideas. Let me know if you think I'm overpacking or underpacking. I don't really care. I'm bringing this stuff, so I might be adding some more things to it. I think it's just enough. And like I said, Matt will have some extra things as well. Uh, but if there's anything you think I'm missing, please, please let me know. Um, I don't know if this video is coming out before or after baby comes, but you know, it'll help other moms too that are, or dads that are uh, watching this and reading the comments. Um, so make sure you guys check out the blog post. A link will be down below. Grab the free checklist downloads um, to help you guys prep for your baby on the way. And thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, click that like button if you liked it, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.